So right now, what are we doing? So we're making the faces. Faces? Yeah. Okay. You want to kind of work this stuff into the cement board so it gets a good, good seal. To get the best side, you put that face down. Usually both sides are pretty good. Got a hundred here. Want to get an even amount of thin set. And push them in there, and we just slightly push down until it squeezes out. It's a nice little section. So now I take a, a flat thing and I make sure these are all flush. And the last thing you do, you get the spacing. I mean, it's completely handmade, yeah. uh, but it's a, a, on, the, on the flip side, it's kind of an assembly line thing we did, uh, you know, basically to, to cut costs and also for quality control. Uh, we just do one after the other after the other, and, and there's a system, and everything's been thought out of how we create these things. Uh, so you, you're really getting a handmade thing, you know, it's, it's all made with hands. Uh, and it's, but it's also got a nice high quality to it and uh, affordable, sort of. Okay, that's a nice fit. So this thing holds everything into place. Okay. Okay, that's it. Welcome to the world. How are we doing, Travis? So today we're, uh, we're cooking pizza, finally. It's like our fifth or sixth episode, but we're finally gonna cook some food in our oven. Uh, we have a chef from Sacramento who's purchasing one for a catering business he owns. So he just wanted to come in and basically do a test run, see what, you know, heat up times and how the pizzas cook and just check the oven out in person. So we're, do, we're, we're here at Kitchen Collective, which is where we do all our cooking demos and stuff. It's a pretty cool spot. Um, they got a commercial kitchen here and obviously they have our oven here. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna cook and have a good time. So yeah, with, at least with our ovens, I mean any oven, it's really important that, you know, that you have places where, where there's air and, and oxygen in between the logs. You don't want two logs touching side by side. You want them like stacked on top of each other. You want a gap in between them so that air can flow freely in between it. You know, the oven's sucking all the air from the outside down through here, swirling around and then getting sucked back up through the vent there. So mm -hmm. if we put, you know, see how everything's spread out really well and there's distance, all those logs can kind of individually combust. Yeah, we're close.